Hey, Luth. You still mad at me? No, I'm not mad. Yes, you are. You still mad? I can tell. <laughs> Luth, I just said I wasn't mad. <laughs> yes, you are. If you weren't mad, you'd ask me how my weekend was. How was your weekend? Not so good. I spent the whole time worrying you were still mad. <laughs> Luther, listen, we had all this out on Saturday night. Yes, I was mad and I had a right to be. You bet against the team. That's one thing to be negative around here, but it's another thing to go public with it. I wasn't trying to be negative. Wait a minute, you don't think predicting that we'd lose 40-43 wouldn't be negative? I thought we'd lose 40-40 to nothing. I just threw in the three to be positive. <laughs> I can't talk about this anymore. Just don't do it again, okay, Luther? Okay. You, you, you're sure you're not mad? I'm not mad. Come on, it's over with. It's finished. I'm never going to bring it up again, and I don't want you bringing it up again either, okay? Fair enough? Fair enough. Positive about one thing, you're still mad. No. <laughs> I don't mean to start off Monday morning on a sour note, but we've got a gigantic scandal brewing. Where's Luther? He's in the team room. Hayden, are you aware that that stake he won Saturday night is a National Collegiate Athletic Association violation? What? It's gambling, Hayden. It was gambling for meat. <laughs> meat or money. It was ill-gotten gains. I'm telling you, if this leads to a major investigation, the whole program could be disciplined. And I'm not talking just football. I am talking basketball, baseball, hockey, water polo, intramural sports. Gee, all the things I really care about. <laughs> That's not funny, Hayden. I know, but how is the NCAA gonna find out anyway? Mr. Lucky has his picture in the paper this morning. Now, we have to show the NCAA that we are taking action or they'll never get off our tails. I am telling you, Hayden, they're bloodsuckers. Well, what do you want me to do, Howard? I want you to suspend Luther for 30 days. What? Oh, no, Howard, I can't do that. I mean, I just told him the whole stuff was behind us. I mean, you know how he reacts to bad news. I mean, if you want to punish him, let me break his nose or cut out his liver, because this is going to kill him. <laughs> I'm sorry that this is going to upset him, but is him or the school? Well, I can't suspend Luther. I mean, why can't we suspend somebody who doesn't actually contribute anything? You know, somebody who's not going to be missed. Somebody like you, Howie. <laughs> now, are you going to take care of this or am I going to do it? No, 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 no. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll... I know it won't be easy, but it's better coming from a friend. Morning, Luther. Have a good week. <laughs> I didn't know Howard was here. I was just loading up the game tapes from Saturday. You want to look at them? Uh, in a minute. In a minute. What's the matter? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, just something I got to tell you, that's all. Is it something good or something bad? I, uh, it, it depends on how you look at it. Oh, God! Oh, <laughs> Come on, I don't want you getting all upset here. Now, I don't want you to jump into any conclusions. Just let me explain this to you. Something's happened. Nothing has happened. Something's happened. You wouldn't be talking to me if something hadn't happened. Luther, nothing has happened. Now, just get a grip on yourself. And come on, now, don't interrupt me. And just let me explain to you in as calm a way as I can what has happened. Something's happened? <laughs> Look, I was just talking to Howard. Now, as it turns out, you're winning that stake at the touchdown club Saturday night was an extremely minor NCAA rules violation. Okay? <laughs> and the reason it was a violation because you bet against the team and you won something for it. Uh -huh. now, I'm going to have to suspend you for 30 days, huh? That's it. Uh -huh. That's all there is to it. There's nothing more than that. No big deal. Okay? Now, you and I have been together 20 years, huh, bud? Now, look at it this way. I mean, I want you to look at this suspension as something positive. You know, that's something discouraging or, or disappointing. I mean, look at all the things you can do in 30 days. Luther, you can travel, you can read a book, you can do all sorts of things you've never done before. <laughs> When's this, when does this officially begin? Well, now. <laughs> The sooner we get it started, the sooner it's going to be over with. OK. I guess I just go on home now. Are you sure you're all right with this? Yeah, I'm fine. I, 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 uh, you explained it to me. I'm fine. I mean, it's only a suspension. There's nothing more to it than that. Right. Well, I'll see you in 30 days, right? OK. Hey, Luth, how you doing? I'm fired. <laughs> What 
the hell? Who is it? It's Luther. I... Luther, it's four o'clock in the morning. What are you doing here? I saw your light was on. I need to talk to you, Aiden. <laughs> Can it wait? Uh, actually, I don't need to talk to you. I wanted to use your typewriter. What is going on? Oh, hi, Christine. I didn't know you were here. Because you got to spend the night. You know, it was kind of special, Luther. Oh, that's nice. You two go on back to bed. You won't even know I'm here. He's going to type? I don't know. Luther, what are you doing? Typing my resume. Why? Hayden fired me. I didn't fire you. I suspended you. You know that. Oh, I know what you said today, and I've been thinking about it, Hayden. I know what's going to happen. You'll go 30 days without me and find out you don't need me, and I'll be out of a job. Oh, Luther, Hayden isn't going to find out that he doesn't need you. Oh, I know he thinks he isn't going to find out he doesn't need me, but I know what I do, and I, I know he doesn't need it. <laughs> he does, too. Hayden, tell Luther you need him. He knows I need him. But he needs to hear it. I need you, Luther. <laughs> Come on, Luther, you know I need you. Who's going to run the defense if I don't have you? Yeah, boy, where are you going to find another guy to hold a team to 44 points? <laughs> you know, I've been at this game longer than either one of you. I know what's going to happen. I predicted we'd lose the game today, and I predicted I'd lose my job. Should I put on some coffee? Okay. No, no, because I'm predicting he's not staying that long. Luther, I don't know how to tell you this. You're not fired. You're not going to be fired. You're going to be with me until you die, which could be tonight unless you get out of here. Uh, maybe I should make some breakfast. Hey, can I type while I eat? You don't need to type. The resume's not going to look very professional written on the back of a program. Am I talking at a frequency he can't hear? You know, Luther, you know what your problem is? You don't think you're a good coach. You think the only reason you got this job is because we're friends? Well, that's where you're wrong, Luther. We're not friends? Yes, of course we're friends, but that's not why you got the job. You got the job because you know what you're doing. I mean, you must. You certainly don't have it because of your personality. Well, it, Hayden. No, I mean, look at him. He's got a terrible attitude. He's got no self-confidence, and you're annoying. Well, Hayden. Well, he is annoying. My God, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. Aren't you annoyed? Well. Well, of course you're annoyed. She's annoyed. We're both annoyed. You're annoying. <laughs> You got a negative thing going all the time and always predicting team's gonna lose. I don't know who'd want to be around a man like that unless he were a good coach. And that's all the proof I can give you, Luther. I don't know what, what else I can say that's gonna make you feel any better. Would you be willing to say all that in a letter of recommendation? 